Welcome back. It's the next year. <gasps> it is the 1st of January 2022. Yes. And we are here bright and early. Because <laughs> we had to get here, because we had to float in. Yeah, we had to boat in today. Yeah. So we've just done that. Yeah. So now we're just going to get rid of some rubbish Yay. while we're here. And then it's going to be a really riveting day today. A riveting day. <laughs> Literally, we've yeah. got 20 million copper nails to do on all the frames that we put yeah. in and the stringers. So we're going to get up to date and do yeah. that today. So we made a, we made a heavier dolly because Gemma's palm nail is like hitting it with a sledgehammer. So it's like, I've got a heavier dolly now. So. Yes. Uh, um, we'd also, we'd like to thank Squarespace oh, yeah, for sponsoring yeah. today's yeah. episode. Fantastic. Cheers, guys. So let's crack on. Let's go. The boat looks great from over there. So now I look all right too. Don't know what he's sucking up for today. Okay, so as I've been mentioning, it's getting really, really muddy. Can you see down there? Still got footprints from last time. So while the mud's really soft, because like the water's just just leaving us now, um, we've got this pump here. It's basically a little two-stroke pump. Uh, I wanted this. I think it's really, really handy to have on the boat. Obviously you've got a big problem. Someone else has got a big problem. You can basically throw them the pump. They can pump the boat out, potentially save lives. But anyway, we're going to use this today to try and wash some mud away. So it might work, might not. I think we put the ends in a basket. I was thinking we could use this as an extra filter. Yeah, that's probably quite a good idea. That. Just to stop that one getting it's clogged up. Yeah, no, it's a bin, but look, you can put that in there. You can put that in there, and then it'll stop, um... Yeah, okay, good idea. Stop you getting clogged up with loads of muds, won't it? Yeah, maybe. So what is this, prime the pump? Priming the pump. A, like a hose nozzle, like. So. <laughs> <laughs> Not today, dear. When I came to the boat the other day, I can't remember what it was now, New Year's Eve or something like that, um, I was basically gluing in, I don't know if you remember, there was like big sort of cutouts for like hoses and stuff. So I've been glue gluing in sort of like little wedges, um, so you've got like one, two, three, um, I'll just take you down here. There as well, a bit of light, I'm going to mess. The and the. So we now need to sort of machine them flat now, and then Gemma can then do a wonder with the the brush, can't she? Oh, there's one one other thing I've been doing. I'll come and show you. I keep thinking that I should fill you in with like what Simon does off camera. I don't know why, but um, in the engine room. So we prepared and painted this didn't we last time so I've um, prepped these and it's all painted so I'm not seeing it the next time we're bored we can get them bolted up cool but I don't think you need to show them every hole you fill off camera <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you painted that because it's all over the floor well, getting... and it's all over the bags <sighs> What a waste of paint! <laughs> We're gonna fail the concourse um, thingy. Oh, it looks beautiful though. Yeah. So is, that, is that is that the first bit of like goodness in the engine room? Yeah. 
apart from the heating and the Yeah, the no, but I mean, like, the first bit of paint, like, when it looks paint, fresh. But I don't think it should stay that colour. I think it should be, like, shiny white or something. Yeah. Mm. So we need to get some more paint. Yeah, we still need to get the colour scheme down for the engine room. Yeah. Cool! Right, let's go do some proper work. Okay. For the past 12 months, I've really wanted to get a Ship Happens website, but I'm not the greatest with technology and building a website to me was quite daunting and I found it very easy to be able to build my own website. So if you want to connect with your audience and generate revenue from greater only members content, manage your members or send email communications, then it's a easy to use platform. If you're ready to get your own website, go to squarespace.com for your free trial. And if you use our code squarespace.com forward slash ship happens, you will get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. You can now visit our website too, which is shiphappensuk.com. Thank you so much, Squarespace. So today we've got three stringers to rove and we've got four frames because we only done below the waterline on the frames last time. So that is quite a lot yeah. of copper nails. Yeah. Right, so I'm all set up with all the tools that I need. I've got my palm nailer, my robes, my dremel, hammer, cutters, and then I've got my tools and stuff. Spare Dremel discs. So, oh, safety glasses. Right, let's do this. Nails to do just in these four frames, but don't forget they're already nailed to the waterline, so that's still quite a lot to do, isn't it? And then we've got all of the stringers, so it's gonna be a riveting day. You make me nervous, I think I might be hooked on you. You like me too We can take it slow Make sure we do this right Canceled all my plans to be with you tonight Tonight So just We've just done 17 robes in 21 minutes it's not bad is it just over a minute a rove we are getting faster definitely time for a brew then so struggling to like you know when i'm cutting the nails to cut them all at like an even length so last time i was using washers to put over them and then use that as a guide but i kept dropping the washers so we put some washers on some tape because then I'm not going to lose them as much. So I've got like three different sizes to work out which is the best thickness to put in the nail. So literally when the nail's there, put the washer over and then I can use that as a guide to cut. So we'll see if that speeds us up a little bit. So just sit with me, talking to the night until the morning, building chemistry. Next to me, trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. You make me anxious. I think I might be stuck on you. I love the things you did, you did for me, for me, it seems like. 
you dropping clues There's no need to rush So let's just take our time Dropping everything Cause you're stuck on my mind My mind So just sit with me Ooh, It's warm today Two hoodies I've had to take off Last one on the frames. Woo! Right, you ready? did we say there we said an hour and seven minutes so that's 67 minutes plus the 21 minutes we took before how many have you just said 50 47 there's one we didn't do though so 46 so they are taken nearly like two minutes, two minutes a rove. But in that time as well, I've had a lot of messing around with the ends of the rove tools, because obviously every time you hit them, they're like mushrooming on either end. So after I've done a couple, I'm having to whiz to the stone wheel and just sort of put like a bit of a chamfer on the edge otherwise I can't get it out of this and I'm like I can't get it out so every sort of 10 nails I'm having to go to the the, the wheel on the bench and sort of give them a grind back but apart from that they're fantastic imagine me doing all that with a hammer I'd be dead by now and it would have took us about six hours <laughs> so <laughs> I love it looks so pretty <laughs> so yeah I've I've been having to work in this beautiful um, sky. It's beautiful. Anyway, I'm still in the mud. So yeah, we've done all of them ones, and then up to our windows, and all of those ones. So now we're going to be doing the stringers. I don't think the stringers will take quite as long, to be honest with you. Let's pass it back to Gemma. Hey there. I'm here. Hi, coming back in in the warmth. Screwdriver. Screwdriver. So. I'm back from the mud. The mud man's back. <laughs> somebody, somebody calls us the mud. The, the mud, mud people. people. <laughs> I love that with the mud people. <laughs> I think we've finally perfected the technique. Yes. And the communication. Yeah, well, I'm um, not sure about that, but. Yeah. <laughs> so, 46 down, 31 to go. Ooh. Next, but the thing is, the frames obviously for Simon outside were quite, I'm not going to say easy, but they easy. were easier than yeah. the stringers because he stands in one place and, and does the frames. Yeah. But now we're doing the stringers. So. He's literally got to walk from that end outside all the way down to this end. But well, so. hopefully we've been moving the mud yes. earlier. Um, I think it, it, it's made it a lot more passable. Has it? Yeah. That's good. So. So. I did about stand in one place for a long period. I might still sink a bit then, but... Yeah. I'll let you know. Obviously when we're when we're roving the frames we drill from the outside because we go through the original holes that were made in the planks. Yes. But when we're doing the stringers, the stringers and the frames were assembled before the planks went on. So there's no original holes outside through mm. to the stringer ones? So that's why we drill through the stringer, then the frame and then the planks. So 
technically it's stronger because yeah. we're now holding the planks on with even more we're holding the stringers on to the hull yeah because yeah, they were yeah. independent sort of thing yeah. weren't they so yeah. that's why i don't know whether you might have gone why are you drilling from the outside for that one and the inside for that one just thought just a bit of bit of education so obviously when the boat was built it was built with the frames and the stringers frames yeah. stringers yeah. they were bolted together so the We've had to just where we've removed the stringers, we've had to just cut off yeah. the the thing, you know, the copper, the copper yeah. and get it yeah. out, haven't we? If that if they were still in the original, but if we're replacing the frame and the stringer, then it all comes out. Then it out. all comes out. So, so there's no original copper yeah. in there then. So so, oh, so we haven't got any holes on the outside of the hull to go through. So that's how we're going from the inside through the stringer, through the frame, yeah. and through the. The plank. planks. So now my challenge now is to find the new holes. So so now now Gemma gets a piece of red wire now and, po and pokes it through, so like I can get a visual aid from the outside. Because it's hard for Simon to locate like where he is, yeah, like to go like, which hole are we working on. So yeah, I get like, this now, and I'll say yeah, so we're gonna do this one. Can you see? No. So we're going to do this one. So I poke that through and that goes all the way to the outside and I go, put me a nail in there. Simple. So that's how, that's what you use to help a man find a hole. Right. Oh, I've got a good song for you. Do you want to hear me song? Go on. Rove, rove, <laughs> rove your boat. <laughs> <laughs> right, back to it. <laughs> Seven copper nails and robes done today. My arm's not hurting, but my hand's a bit like, you know, from holding the palm nailer. But that is a record for us. But do you know, after seeing them all and how like, how the copper stands out against the painted wood. Just look how pretty it is. Well, the ones that we've done down here that have like been painted over. Is it a bit like OCD that I want the copper to stand out on them too? Cause look, it looks a bit boring when they're just painted. So I want them all shiny. <laughs> I'm just creating work for myself for absolutely no reason. But I want to try and clean them up cause I think it'll just look amazing. So I've, I can't find any like little brushes. But maybe if we just... It's good paint. Hmm. I need a smaller brush. I'm sure I've got some somewhere. Let me go and have a look. While I'm making my copper look pretty, what are you doing? Well, I got, I got these in the other day, because if you remember, there was basically a cutout, um... This is the, the original gun mount on the boat, so I just need to like machine these back now. So, because we obviously had, this is basically our frame material, our frame oak, but I made a bit of a mess with the glow, but I left it oversized. So I'm now just gonna use the little plane. Cool. Okay. Can you plane epoxy? Yeah, but I think you should put a dust mask on and some glasses. Oh, you're an FPO. I know. Do you know what FPO stands for? I do, no one at home will. 
a fun prevention officer. Safety, dear, safety. <laughs> I found a tool that I think is going to be perfect for cleaning up my copper nails. The Dremel with that little attachment because I can put the like the robe in the middle and then it should go around it. Put my safety spectacles on and well, should we go and try it? I'm so, I hope this works because if this works it's going to be boss isn't it? Right, move my hair out of my way. Hang on. Oh, this is honestly the first test though, so it could go wrong. <laughs> anyway. This is hiding that dirt on your chin. Yeah. Um, so what we need now is some some clear coat, some like <gasps> satin clear coat. And then after we've all we can clear coat them all so they don't go green. Yeah. So yeah. while you're tidying up scarf joints then? You're gonna whiz around with them. I'm gonna just go and play Dremel. I'm gonna pass you around. It's yeah. gonna look magical, right? <laughs> I don't know why you want to go. It's got no ends, where's it gone? So that was great until um, every single piece fell off. Whose head does it look like? Ball like you! <laughs> Right, I better tuck my hair away. Yeah, because that, I don't want it to like twist around and drill in. That scum. will definitely have you. Yeah. Should I be a hoodie? Health and safety. Oh yeah. So do we think I need to do something about my OCD? That like... <laughs> Everyone, everyone else would be like, just leave your rose painted, and Gemma's like, no, I want them shiny and all matchy. But, I think they look good, they look good on camera. They look good, but we've learned a lesson now, because obviously these are only painted because I didn't paint four sides of the frames when we put them in. So at least now I will make sure all sides of our frames are painted before they go in and before they're moved, and then they'll all be shiny and clean there. Okay, so we're just about to paint the scarf joints and the little noggins. Noggins? Maybe that's a good word. And then I've just turned around and seen Gemma doing something which I think you should say. The whole world should say. <laughs> I'm masking out my copper nails. <laughs> well, I've just spent like a good hour cleaning the paint off them. And then if we're going to touch these up, I don't want to get paint on my new shiny copper, so I'm just, just, take it off I'm just masking them out. It's probably quicker to take Does it. everyone else mask out this day copper? <laughs> it's probably quicker to like take the paint off. 
I suppose it's technique then, just running. I'll just go running my knife round. Yeah, okay. Actually, it probably is quite quick. And it keeps them in the raw state as well, doesn't it? Yeah. Maybe. Saving me a job later on down the line, see? Off my knife's a bit blunt. Oh, well, there we go. So, what we're going to do now is paint, paint it all up and then have a look at it. Show everyone your little, your little joints now, they've been sanded off. Oh, Gemma, Gemma thinks like, these joints are like, wow, but, but they're not, because it's still got a bit of paint on it, but I've not sanded it off. Mm. Gemma's a completely different species of wood, isn't it? <laughs> Do you think that matters? What happens if one infects the other? Oh, they might have babies. Um, what does oak and rock elm make in the species tree? There you go. Well, I've got to do some painting now. I don't know why light on because it'll just go off. Put it on. It'll go off. Well, then it'll go off. <laughs> you deckhead. <laughs> right, so that was um. Stay on. Right, so that was a successful day. Successful, very sort of tiring, but maybe looks to you guys unproductive but how many nails did we 77 77 nails that's a record for us it's a record for anyone <laughs> i think obviously before we bought oh, the palm nailer yeah um last time we were doing copper nails the old-fashioned way yeah. the next day i my arm what was i like was, i was like simon um, simon simon do this <laughs> my me, me hand, me hands got a little bit like tired towards the end because you know, it's so big that palm nail. Like, it's not aggressive. It's, it's an aggressive. It's it all is. Boom, 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 yeah. boom. But I feel okay compared yeah. to yeah. like hammering yeah. and stuff. So that that is That's like, mega, yeah. and that has cut our time down. Mm. Like we're flying through these now. We've never done seventy-seven in a day. We've we're lucky to do like one frame in a day, yeah, and we've just done yeah. four yeah. frames and three stringers. Mm. Bonus. So wicked. Um, and. I don't, I don't know if you can see from here, so all my copper robes that I've just cleaned up look, look amazing. I'll, they I'll, pop, don't they? Yeah, they yeah, do. Yeah. I love it. After seeing this, and the way you can see this, the copper shining through, I was like, why did we paint over the other one? So I spent a while. Do you know when the boat is finished, though? You're not going to see any of this. <laughs> but it's so pretty, though. Yeah, it's so pretty. So what else have we done today? We've cleaned up our little noggins. I don't know what I'm gonna call them. What are they called? Oh, yeah. They're all infills. Yeah, yeah. Done now. They've been you, painted. Yeah, you clean the mud outside. You did some hosing of mud. Yeah. Um, I washed, washed the mud. Yeah. And um, the copper nails. I yeah. what I wanted to do today, which I didn't get round to doing, because yeah. I'm an idiot. I went out yesterday and bought some paint stripper. Yeah. To, to get that lead paint off that original yeah. bulk at all, and yeah. I left it at home. I think our plan next time though is. I don't know, can you see from there? Is these two frames here? Um, and then that's all the frames forward, and now uh, we've got a couple towards the rear now. We can't do the web frames no. yet. But we could, but, all the ones we're, that but we're going to get legs. all the other ones finished, and then just so we structure and shape yeah. of the bow, so we want to retain the shape, don't we? But it's New Year's Day, it is yeah. half six, yeah. So we're going to go home, yeah. We're going to go home. I've got a car full of rubbish as well, which is good. Oh yeah, we took those rubbish off yeah, today. Yeah, we did. We See, did we have stuff. achieved stuff, and considering yeah. it's a bank holiday. Yeah. Doing good. So, Doing good. thanks for watching. Yeah. Cheers, guys. See you next week. See you next week. Goodbye. Thank you, Squarespace, for sponsoring this episode. If you see what we can see then adventure it's for all of us There's a place that we should be Come along, come along Cause it's high